You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. <sighs> By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. Learn. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rags. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. and keep going. Go! We'll follow up. Yeah. Hammond, you need to get over here. Now! That a boy. You're doing great. Toro! It's me gone. Everyone get back! Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tullius and join the defense. God's guide you. Close to the wall! You all the sovereign guard! You! 
Solemn guard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. May as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. All right. Get that armor on. Get that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out. Of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Damn, no way to open this from our side. Come on, it's the soldier. Imperials. Keep moving. Take cover. Get this gate open. One of these Imperials had the key. See if you can unlock that door. brings the whole tower down on our heads.
dragon doesn't give up easy. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. You won't take us alive. You won't leave Helgen alive. <laughs> <laughs> can find any potions. We'll need them. Done. Let's get moving. Troll's blood. It's a... Hear that? Come on. That's no shit. God. No! Was Jarl Ulfric with you? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. Here's the noble empire in all its glory.
orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to pull back. It Just give me a jump dust is clear. Let's see where this goes. Better push on. The rest of them will have to find another way out. doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way.
Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where... Step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Sneaking is overrated. like the way out. I knew we'd make it. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best that we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's over. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. are the Guardian Stones, three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Warrior, good. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory.
Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talking, all right? Glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Gerda's probably working in her lumber mill. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Gerda. Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerda, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe her my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Pod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. Pod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha. I'll be right down. Uncle Raylo, can I see your axe? Heroes have you killed? Do you really know Alfred Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Ooh, where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. 
they wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but... Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Alfred Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. I told you my sister would help us out. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Right. The leader of our fight against the Empire. I forget that most people don't know what he looks like. Except for those Imperial Wanted posters. I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing in the south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us. As pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil, parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen, and you know the rest. What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. Damn right. Just like all true sons of Skyrim should. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. Yeah, sure, I understand. No need to decide now. But I know that after you think about what you saw today, you'll realize that Skyrim deserves to be free. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. Ulfric's capital is Windhelm, northeast of here. 
You'll want to talk to Galmar Stonefist, Ulfric's right-hand man. He handles the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word if I get the Windhelm ahead of you. Just head north. Can't miss it. It's the capital of Whiterun Hold. Jarl Balgruf still hasn't declared for one side or the other. So at least you won't run into any Imperials along the way. I'm going to rest up here a while before heading to Windhelm. Be careful. Hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Eyes open. Make yourself at home. Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled Whiterun hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Of course, Ulfric's cause is just. It's time for Skyrim to rid itself of the Empire. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raylof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see Whiterun on its hill as you pass the falls. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turig just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turig was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turig dead. 
Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. It's my mill. Some folks think it's my town, too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. All right, then. <laughs> Damn faithless Imperials.
Fight or die well. Saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Here for work? Get an axe, and bring me all the wood you can chop. I've got enough to worry about, taking care of my family. I don't concern myself with such matters. All right, then. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. <laughs> 